for a forced copy from Google Forms, things are a little bit different than they used to be. So I recommend starting here in Drive and having the folder that you want it to be in. So I'm just going to make a Google Forms folder. And then I want to set the permissions for the folder to share anyone with the link can view. So then when I go in here, I can click, once I'm in that folder, I can click new Google Forms. It'll say create and shared folder. Yes, I wanna make sure that people can see it. And then a new form comes up here. All right, I got it. So then I'm just gonna just do a really basic, just test here, you know, what is your favorite color? And then that can be there, that's our form. When you put the title here, if you click up here in Untitled Form, it'll say test right there. So now, what you used to do was you would go, not to that one, you would go to the three dots, you'd go to Add Collaborators. Right now we have that anyone can link can view, and you would copy a link. This is now a responder link. It used to be the link in general for the form, now this is just the link for people to input their responses. So if you're sharing this as part of your product, you want to come here to this URL and you want to remove the word edit and you have two different options. So I'm going to copy this. I can remove the word edit and then I can put in copy. And now it's going to say, would you like to make a copy of test? Yes, make a copy. And then now we have a copy of test, okay? Or the other option, and this is my preferred option, and just because it seems to cut down on errors with buyers, is you can do template preview. I also like the way this looks better than if we were to do this, because, so this is the force copy. This is template preview. And the reason I like this is then buyers can see what they're getting. They can make sure that this matches their form that they're, they've purchased. And then you have used template up here. It also seems to cut down on errors because buyers have become somewhat savvy and knowing to replace copy with edit. Instead, with the template preview, it just doesn't seem to happen as often. The other thing I want to show you is that if we're in Google Forms, oops, I can go here, and then we're making a new form. If we're here and it's not in a folder where anyone with the link can view, this is what you're going to see. You go to Add Collaborators, and then the only options you're given when you go to anyone with the link is just edit. and. For the most part, we're not going to feel pretty comfortable doing that because, you know, if they were to change that link, it would just make us feel, I, don't, I know it would make me feel a little icky. So what you're going to want to do before you do anything is go to that little folder and move to folder and you're going to want to move it to a folder that is where anyone can view. So that might mean doing what I just did with that little move to folder button, or it might mean going into your Google Drive and adding a new folder where everyone with the link can view. But now that I've moved it to a different folder, you should be able to go to add collaborators and now you see that anyone with the link can view. Hopefully that helps and let me know if you have any questions, happy to help.